Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to be covering how to calculate the support reactions of a simply supported beam with a point load. By the end of this video you will be able to determine the support reactions of a simply supported beam and use this knowledge to solve similar problems. If we look at the beam we can see that it is 4 meters in length and has supports at either end labelled RA and RB. It has a 200 newton load applied 1.5 meters from the left. Our goal is to find the support reactions at RA and RB. As the beam is stationary, the forces acting on it must cancel out and it is said to be in equilibrium. To determine the support reactions, we will use the method of moments. We begin by taking moments about point RA. Since the distance of the reaction force at RA is zero, the moment of RA must also be zero. Next, we will calculate the clockwise and anti-clockwise moments. The only clockwise moment we have is a 200 newton load applied at a distance of 1.5 meters. So total clockwise moments equals 200 times 1.5, which equals 300 newton meters. The only anti-clockwise moment we have is support reaction RB at a distance of 4 meters. Since the beam is in equilibrium, the clockwise moments must equal the anti-clockwise moments. Therefore, we can transpose this to find RB by dividing 300 by 4, which gives us 75 newtons. We can then repeat this process, but by taking moments about point RB. As before, the distance of RB is zero, so the moment of RB must also be zero. Next, we'll find the clockwise and anti-clockwise moments again. The only anti-clockwise moment we have is a 200 newton load at a distance of 2.5 meters. So the total anti-clockwise moments equal 200 times 2.5, which equals 500 newton meters. The only clockwise moment we have is the support reaction RA at a distance of four meters. Since the beam is in equilibrium, we can again transpose this equation to find the value of RA by dividing 500 by 4, which gives 125 newtons. To check our calculation is correct, we can sum the vertical forces up and down. The sum of the upward forces, RA plus RB, is 125 plus 75, which equals 200 newtons. The sum of the downward forces is, a, is the applied load, which is 200 newtons. The sum of the upward, upward forces and downward forces cancel out to zero and our calculation can be proved to be correct. We hope you found this video helpful in understanding how to calculate the support reactions of a simply supported beam with a point load. Remember to break down the calculation steps into smaller parts and use visual aids to help you solve similar problems in the future. Thanks for watching.